Welcome to the Purdue Libraries tutorial on the Graphic Novels Core Collection Database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use the Graphic Novels Core Collection Database. This EBSCO database highlights over 2,000 recommended titles with descriptive and evaluative annotations, including review excerpts and awards the title has won, plus cover art. All titles are searchable by author, title, subject, genre, and grade level. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Libraries website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This link will go to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Libraries. To find the Graphic Novels Core Collection database, go to the G section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. Let's take a look at the main page. If it looks familiar, that is because EBSCO databases share the same interface. If you learn to navigate one, you should find using the others to be very similar. Also, like many other databases, there are a couple of options for searching, basic and advanced. For today's search, we are going to use the advanced search option. This will take us to a new page. On that page, you will see there are several boxes where you can type keywords or phrases. They are also linked by a drop-down feature, which allows you to select the Boolean term to link them. This will prompt the database to make sure the results list features the resources that include both those keywords. For today, we are going to do a search for science fiction and space. We are also going to narrow down the search further by setting the document type to book and the grade level to fourth grade. You can see there are other options to narrow down the results like Lexile reading level, Dewey call number range, and even recommendation level. Our search will bring back over 40 results. While this isn't a huge number of items to review, if you wanted to, you could still narrow them down further by using the options in the Refine Results section to the left side of the screen. From here, you can review the list to see which items will help with your research. If you look to the right side of the title, there is an icon with a magnifying glass. This is a preview where you can read the abstract for the article. One last tip. As you might have noticed, many of the items have the button underneath the listing that says find it at Purdue Libraries. Sometimes an item that you find might not be accessible through the database that you are using, but that doesn't mean that Purdue Libraries doesn't have access to the item. If you click on the button, you can find out if there is access through another database, if there is a print copy, or if you might need to request the item through our interlibrary loan service. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you are looking for other databases similar to Graphic Novel's core collection, here are a couple to try.